So you screw up your white balance. Well, it can happen to everyone. And I will teach you how to fix it in Lightroom and Photoshop right now. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Unpix, where we learn how to be better photographers by sharing experiences and mistakes. In this episode, I want to share with you a very fun and easy way to fix manually your white balance in Lightroom or Camera Raw in Photoshop. It doesn't matter. All you need to do is to understand what happens to the histogram. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with how the histogram works, I will put the link down into the description section to a very great tutorial from Matt Granger on what the histogram actually is. For now, all you need to know is that in Lightroom and Camera Raw, we can display the histogram for the different channels, I mean for blue, red and green separately. The histogram will just show you how each one of these colors is either dark or bright and you can simply try to match the luminance of these colors to have a perfectly balanced image. Now let's jump to Lightroom so that I can show you what I'm talking about. And here we are back in Lightroom, now we will try to fix this picture of my friend Victor which is kind of yellowish, I mean you can tell that the white balance is totally screwed up. One thing that you can do is let the software do it by itself. So in here, in the white balance section, you can just choose automatic. Photoshop and Lightroom are pretty good at this. So now you can clearly see that the picture is well balanced. And basically what Lightroom did is trying to match the different channels, the blue channel, the green channel, the red channel, so that they appear everyone on top of each other inside the histogram. And when the channels appear one on top of each other, what you could see is simply a gray area. Now, if we go back to our initial image, you can clearly see that, first of all, it's yellow. And you can tell this by the histogram. You can see that the histogram here into the mid-tones, which is the skin of Victor, and also the background, it's pretty yellowish. So you have a lot of green, you have a lot of red, which together they give you yellow, and the blues are way back. So one thing that you can do, you need to increase the amount of blue into your picture. And you can do it simply by dragging the temperature slider towards the blues. You can see that basically we are increasing the luminance of the blues and they are shifting to the left. We have a different situation. We have that the greens now are pretty prominent. The magentas are way back. What does it mean here that basically the blue and the red, they are over Overlapping. So that's why you have the magenta. So what you could do, you have to reduce the greens and increase the magenta. So we're going to drag the tint slider towards the magenta very gently. And now what you could see is that the blues are a little bit far away and the reds are a little bit on the way back. So we need to increase the reds by adding warmth to our image until you are, let's say, satisfied. You can try different things and now what you can see we hit the perfect spot because most of the mid-tone area is perfectly gray we have only some yellow tint which basically comes from the background but if you can take a look at the picture you can see that it's pretty well balanced and just take it side by side with initial status you can see how really screwed up this image was and how perfectly white balanced this image is. Well, now you know how to balance manually and what happens in Photoshop where you just put the white balance in auto to fix it because, well, I'm a scientist and I like to do things when I know how they work. And plus, I think it's very fun to manually balance a few pictures. Of course, if you have tons of pictures to do well, just set up everything to auto. I think Lightroom and Photoshop will do a pretty damn good job. For this video is everything. Remember to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button if you like what I'm doing. Comment down to the comment section if you have any other tips or tricks to first never miss your white balance and second how do you fix it in post in the meantime remember to shoot learn and improve because that's what we make your new pics and that's what makes us better photographers always for now it's everything i see you next time and take care